Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Now today's video uh, we are reviewing another Loco. Now I know there have been quite a few Loco reviews recently um, and I've tried to sort of space them out a bit but sometimes these things just can't be helped. Uh, so after this one uh, there is still one more to go which is my new Hornby 14XX um, which should be out in a couple of weeks after this video. So look forward to that. I know you will. It's a pretty very nice model that that 14XX. Um, so yes, today we are reviewing a Hornby uh, Railroad model and it is uh, 3064 BR Black 040 Smokey Joe number 56025 and just got the barcode there. Um, now this belongs to my friend Jacob. He bought it when he was down in Christchurch down in December and um, for a pretty good price of uh, 79.95, so that's what, like 40 pounds, roughly. Um, so yeah, so if we get, if we open the box, now because this is a short review, it won't take me long. I won't speed up any footage or anything, because you know I don't have to unwrap many boxes. So you've got this sheet of plastic covering the box, and you are greeted with the uh, instructions, which are the standard. Hornby uh, 040 instructions, uh, they come with every 040 that they make and you've got different body shapes there and um, how to take out the motor and various things, so nothing interesting. Um, and yes, so you're greeted with the model, which I'll, oh, details. Now, in this model, you included some vac hoses and a drive from Fireman, which will be fitted hopefully tomorrow uh, before it goes back to Jacob, so that's good. Now to the model. <laughs> uh, there is, yep, there is a hole in the back. Ooh, stiff in the packaging. I'll put the packaging just to one side here. And here we are with, with the little o 4 Now, um... <laughs> Of course, it's not, we all know, it's a Hornby 040, there's never going to be much detail, but the detail that they have added is uh, very nice. For example, the uh, the gold detailing, or just there, you know, but um, yeah, so, the chassis we will begin with, this is the chassis that comes with every single 040, uh, it is slightly configured differently to accommodate uh, cylinders and all that jazz. But in the end, it's the same motor, the same gear drive that you get on any Hornby 040. So starting at the beginning of the model, don't have much detail, uh, but you've got some nice smoke box uh, sort of moulded detail there, and some black buffers uh, just there. Uh, I don't know, the buffer beam just doesn't look quite right with it being black. I feel like it should be red, but oh well. Uh, nice chimney, very kind of a tall chimney for the size of model, and it is a, uh, a saddle tank loco, um, so uh, that is nicely uh, modelled. You've got Smokey Joe, which looks like uh, sort of what I my theory behind this is that is it has been like hastily written on the side of the the tank in its you know very last days of service. Um, so yes. So you can see the motor and there's some spring detail and uh, some a little bit of riveting uh, along the chassis and the sanding detail, oh, a little bit of polystyrene there on the step and uh, yep, the step <laughs> and um, oh that coupling's bent a bit, Ooh, there we go and you've got the massive Hornby tension locks there which I kind of find quite useful, they're quite good um, and some quite uh, well moulded and not painted cab detail which is interesting and uh, the cab interior there uh, what I find interesting about this model is um, see right in the center is just uh, behind the saddle tanks is the tiny little areas for coal that is on both sides as well um, so that's quite interesting You've got the whistle there and the two safety valves and obviously the water tank filler um, but yeah so you've got what looks like some lamps I think on the back of the rear part of the cab 
and some buffers and another Hornby tension lock. Uh, also some very nice lining as well. That's possibly one of the best features of this model. Um, and the number 56025. So, <laughs> in about five minutes, that is that is Smokey Joe. It, as I said, it would not take me long to review this one. Um, so I guess what's left to do is put it on the layout, I guess, and uh, give it a train to pull. Now, I will point out that in recent years, um, Hornby's 040 has become smoother and smoother. Um, I'm not sure why this is. It might be to do with the gearing that they put in 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 the O4Os now, but they have become fairly sort of much slower than they used to be. So yeah, well, I guess we'll go put it on the track then, guys. Right, guys. So here we are with Smokey Joe. Uh, just put her on the track there. Got a, a train of a Mark One, a barrier van, and a milk tanker, which looks you know quite nice. So um, yeah, she uh, she she runs quite well, uh, as I said for an 040. So um, switch on the music, give her some power, and um, you guys can watch her go around uh, Crewsley Road. So here we go. guys Hornby Smokey Joe uh, it's a really nice model uh, to put it simply for its price point and the fact it's not aimed at um, you know the more proper modelers you might say and uh, you know sort of children um, it's really nice uh, I can't I mean yes the details a little bit sort of budget but other than that, it's, it's pretty good, it runs really well, and um, I would recommend it for, you know, the, the younger generation of uh, modelers. You know, maybe not someone who's 75, but you know. <laughs> but uh, no, it's a really nice model, and um, so yeah, thank, uh, thanks Jacob for, for the review, or for the loan of this model for review. Um, so I think that rounds it off guys, uh, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, uh, like me on Facebook as CruiseClero4472, and as always guys, see you later. No, it's not going to move. Okay. Okay, come on. See you later guys. <laughs>